Hey, hello, good morning everyone. I want to talk about rock climbing for a second and how it relates to your goals. This is awesome because I spent last week <coughs> bouldering up in the mountains. I was teaching, I, ta- I taught about 48 or 50 Boy Scouts how to boulder. Now, if you're not familiar, just to really quick, bouldering is basically rock climbing without ropes, but you're not going too high. You're not going really high. You go, you go up, uh, you know, maybe 20 feet and you have a crash mat at the bottom. So there's some safety and it doesn't sound as dangerous or it's not as dangerous as it sounds. Free soloing, now that, that's crazy. But bouldering was is, is a really fun sport. It's very challenging and it's a good workout. It's good, especially upper bodies. If you're new, you're using a lot of your upper body, you haven't figured out how to use your legs properly yet. You get off the wall and your arms are just sore and tired. Anyways, good stuff and I was challenging these boys and it's funny because you know 16 year old boys they always think that they're pretty tough and uh, you get them up on the wall and it's not it's not as easy as it might seem or as it looks and we did some of these that were what called what are called sit starts okay if you've ever been to a bouldering gym you're probably familiar with the term sit start and that is you started from a sitting position so you put your hands and your feet on the wall different holds and you pull yourself up and then you climb up the rest of the wall so in bouldering, the goal is to top off. So what that means is you get to the top of the cliff or the boulder and you climb up over the edge onto the top and that's the goal. So once you, you've arrived, once you've gotten there, that's the finish line, so to speak. So as we're going through this and I'm watching these boys and they're struggling and they're pushing themselves and they're challenging themselves, every time they arrive at the top, you know, you see a little smile, a sense of accomplishment. They've arrived, right? They, they achieved their goal. They got to the top. They can see now a different view, a little bit of wind in their face, the slow-mo, the different angle of the camera kicks in. You got the superhero pose, right? I've watched too many movies. Okay, so they get to the top and they feel great about what they've done. But my point is all the progress, all the all the growth, all the becoming stronger, that didn't happen at the top. Greatness doesn't happen at the finish line. Greatness happens during the journey, the day to day. If you've ever read The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, he talks about all the little things that make the big difference, that, that pile up over time. So you look at these, these, these guys, you know, a lot of them were first timers, uh, bouldering or even rock climbing. They didn't know much about the process. So they look at a wall and they see somebody sitting down and say, yeah, it doesn't seem so hard. I think I could do that. And they sit down on the mat, put their hands and feet on the wall. And all of a sudden, you know, these these holds, these handholds and footholds that look like they're, you know, doable when you're standing back a few feet looking at it going, yeah, I can do that. Uh, all of a sudden, they're a little more challenging than you thought. And you struggle and you push and you pull and you squirm and you you try a different position and you put your feet in different positions and you put your hands in different positions and you're trying new things and that's where the learning happens that's where the growth happens you don't become sore the next day because by topping off by getting to the finish line or by by arriving at the finish line you become sore the next day because of the ascent Okay, it's that struggle along the wall on your journey to the top that brings up, that brings out that element that, that causes you to grow. So if I'm doing, for example, um, keeping on this theme of exercise, I guess, I want to do a workout and it's uh, 50 push-ups. Let's say 50 push-ups for time. All right. So I can sit down and do 50 push-ups. Well, the, or yeah, so number 50 is really my workout. It's all the push-ups getting to that last one that prepare you for it, and then you push through, and how many more can you do after 50? So I'm gonna do 50 push-ups, and then if I do 51, my, my workout really starts right there at the 50. The 51st one is a one push-up workout, but it takes 50 to get there. So <clears throat> the news and everybody in the media and all these people, they look at, uh, you know, we, we we interview all these success models these athletes and things and we show them on the podium standing there with their gold medals and crossing the finish line and all that and that's that's a result of all the pain that they put in during their journey 
Does that make sense? So those 50 push-ups, that's the pain. Push-up number 51, that's the real workout. That's the real workout. That's the glory. But nobody ever shows all the pain and struggle that happened before the athlete or the you know the runner or the swimmer, you know, before they ever got to that point. They don't show all that. The years and years of failing, the years and years of struggling, of pushing and being sore the next day, sweating and messing up and doing it again and readjusting your hands and finding different holds and looking for different routes up the wall. All those things are the day-to-day struggle that don't really get showcased. And all too often, society shows success as just this picture-perfect you know, guy with a, a nice white smile and perfectly combed hair chiseled and he's standing on the podium and he's got this metal around his neck and we get this false impression that he just somehow arrived there. Now I think deep down inside we all know but I think stuff uh, I think uh, on the surface value we see these uh, these stories but we don't really pay so much attention to the ugliness and it some of it is ugliness let's be honest the ugliness along the way that was required for that person to get to that finish line of the goal. I got to see it firsthand all week long. I got to see boys struggle. I struggled myself. And so it really hit home when it comes to talking about goals because goals are struggle, or I guess the process of working towards your goal is a struggle. It is hard and it's okay like that. We have to be okay like that. We can't look around and say, this is hard. I must be doing something wrong. That's the wrong um, idea, the wrong approach, because you're not. You ask anybody who's achieved any amount of success, who's arrived at any kind of finish line, they have struggled immensely before they got there. They have struggled by um, trying sales calls that didn't work or meetings that have, have flopped or people that have said they'd be there and they they weren't and projections that were off and miscalculations and they've struggled with team members that don't want to commit and they've struggled with um, no-shows and they've struggled with technology that didn't perform when it was supposed to perform and they've struggled with not quite being sure what to say when you were supposed to you were on the spot or they've struggled with curveballs of all kinds of people you know, asking questions that were unexpected, any, any kind of, all kinds of things, all kinds of things. And they don't necessarily document all of that along the way. So I guess my point, and I don't want to belabor it, but it is so important. If you're struggling, if you're going through hard times, you know what? That's part of the journey. You're going up the wall. You're going up the wall and you're, you're pulling yourself and it is going to hurt. It is going to be a little challenging. It's going to be a little tough. That's normal. So appreciate those times because those are the times that are going to grow you. Those are the times where you're going to become stronger. You're not going to become stronger at the finish line. You become stronger before the finish line. So take that into account. I hope that you're writing your goals down every day. I hope that you are sharing these posts with others so that we can help spread this message. I love helping people achieve. I want to help so many more get from point A to point B by doing their goals right and developing the right mindset going into their goals and uh, and going through those struggles, but going through them with uh, a support group. And if I can't be there in person, maybe I can be there on a YouTube video or something, you know. Anyways, hope I'm helping. If you like this, please follow along, 3x5goals.com, 3x5group. Dot com is where my Facebook group is. All kinds of good insights shared there. Please follow, join, like, and share, and uh, help me spread this word along. And last thing, have an amazing day.